During this hazard perception part, we will test you on the skills you should have already developed whilst learning to drive. In each clip during the test, there are hazards just like those you will see on the road. Some of the hazards develop. These are the ones that might cause you as the driver to slow down or change direction. Just like on the road, some are hazards that you might just need to keep an eye on in case the situation changes. Others will develop, and these are the ones we will measure your response to. You will score points for clicking when you see these develop. So, during the test, watch the clips, respond by clicking the left or right mouse button as soon as you spot a clue to any hazard. You will need to click again each time you think the situation changes. You do not need to use the cursor or move the mouse. As you click, you will see a red flag appear at the bottom of the screen. This is to show that your click has been registered. When you click, the clip will not stop running. During the test, you will be shown 14 clips which have at least one scorable hazard. One of them will have two so you need to keep concentrating and clicking when you see a hazard. Let's have a look at this clip. Imagine you're the driver of this vehicle following the motorcyclist. Here we have highlighted the hazards to show you when to click. There is a pedestrian crossing the side road. That cyclist, what is he going to do? These with a red circle are the ones that cause you to take some form of action. This has turned to red because the cyclist is approaching the parked lorry and has looked over his shoulder. The situation will now cause you to slow down and change direction. You need to click as soon as you saw the clue. Do remember that during the test you will need to click for them all. The response is measured from when the hazard starts to develop. Your highest score will count. Early responses score 5 and descend through 4, 3, 2, 1 to 0 for those too late or missed completely. We will show you that again. This is how you will see the clips on your test. Keep concentrating throughout the clips. At the end of your test, you will be given your result by one of the test center staff. So remember, watch the clips as though you were the driver or rider, concentrate and click when you see any clues. You will need to click again each time the situation changes. There might be more than one of these in the clip. Don't try to cheat by pressing the mouse button without any thought to what you see. If you do, you will be given this message. You will lose your score for that clip.